Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to modify list fields. Uh, Bubble gives you a few different ways to add things to a list, remove things from a list, uh, both individually, uh, like one at a time, or in bulk. Uh, and the example that I'm going to use here is working with a company data type that has a list of managers. So actually let me take you to the data type section here. So you can see my company data type, um, very simple, but this is the field that we're talking about this managers field that is a list of users. So there are probably a bunch of users in my database that are related to the company, but not all of them are managers. And that's why we've got this field here. And I'm gonna show you how to add users to this list and remove them. So just to give you a quick overview of this setup on this page, this dropdown will let me select a company so that we can work with one company at a time. And then I have two repeating groups. The one on the left will show me all users that are related to this company. And this is just a simple um, search for users. Let me go there. Search for users where company equals the value of this dropdown. And then the repeating group on the right is that list field. So it's still a list of users, but it's no longer a search for users um, in general. It is this specific list field within the company uh, this managers field, right? So that repeating group source is this one right here. Okay, so every time I add a user from my general user list here to that list, they'll show up here and I can remove them and that those are the operations that we're gonna be working with. So the first thing is adding an individual user to the list. I'm gonna start edit workflow on this button and the first thing I wanna do is make a change to the company. So I'm gonna to go to make a change to a thing because that's the record that we're updating here. So I'm gonna select my drop downs value, which is my company. And then uh, the field that I'm modifying is our list field here, managers. So you, you'll see that when you select a list field, uh, when you're updating it here in your workflows, you get list operators like this. These are all the ones that we're gonna go through right now. So the first one is when this add button is clicked, I'm gonna use add. This is what lets you add one individual item to the list at a time. So the thing I wanna add is the current cells user. Again, because this button is in the repeating group cell. So whenever I click this button, it adds that user uh, for that cell to the list. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for remove, um, but obviously we're going to use the remove function. I'm gonna go ahead and right click my add action, copy, and then paste, right click and paste. Same action, saves me a little bit of time. And I'm gonna update this. This is again for the remove button. We don't wanna add that user. They're already in the list. We now want to remove this individual user from that list, okay? So I'm gonna refresh the page here and preview so that we can see these two individual add and remove actions working. I'm gonna select my uh, let's see, this here is the company that I'm working with because I have no managers in there yet. So if I add Phoebe a test, she's now in that group. If I add Ross, scroll down as somebody else, Reggie. Okay, so these are my managers. If I go over to my database and to app data, and we'll go over to the companies. Here I can see Backpacks Forever is the company that I'm working with currently. Um, I can see that my managers are properly being saved to that list field, okay? And if I wanted to remove, let's say, Ross, okay, it's updated the, uh, let's refresh our data here. Ross should be gone in just a moment. There he is, okay, so now we've just got Phoebe and Reggie uh, in that uh, list field there, okay? So that's how you add and remove one item at a time. Now, what if we wanted to add and remove items in bulk? Uh, let's do the simple one here first. To clear a list, that button, let's go to the workflow for that. So I'll select this button, start edit workflow. I'm gonna paste my action back here again. So clear list, if I select that one, what this does is it completely wipes out the entire list. It removes everything in the list, okay? So it just, empties it out. So I'm going to refresh so that we can see how that works. Okay, so let's say I add a couple more people and then as soon as I clear list, they're completely gone. Just 
completely wipes it out for you. So that one's a simple one for deleting everything in the list. Now if we wanted to remove uh, multiple people from the list but not clear out the whole thing, that's what remove list is for. It removes a list of items from your overall list, okay? Whereas remove just removes one person, remove list removes multiple people, and clear list clears out the whole thing. Okay, now I have this multi drop down element here so that I can select specifically which uh, managers I want to remove if I don't want to remove them all. Uh, I'm going to set my choice source here, this needs to be updated, to the list of managers because those are the only people that are available to remove. Okay, and then the remove list button, let's create the workflow for that. and I will change my action here to remove list. And the list of users that I want to remove is going to be the value of my multi dropdown uh, uh, element there. Okay, so let's watch this in the preview so you can see this all come together. So I have my list of managers. If I want to select some people that I want to remove, first of all, my data source is only the managers because these are the only people that I should be able to remove. I don't want to see everyone here. Um, but let's say I want to remove Joey and Reggie. Okay, I now have multiple people. This is a list of users. It is no longer one. By clicking on remove list, before I do that, just take a note up here, you will see Joey and Reggie disappear. So I'll click on that and they're gone. And we're left with Phoebe and Ross. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I didn't remove just one person. I also didn't clear the entire list. I selected uh, multiple people to remove from that. That is exactly how add list works in the other direction. So I can select multiple people to add at one time. So I'm not having to do it, uh, you know, one by one. Uh, actually, I need to program this. So let's go to add list, start edit workflow. I'm going to paste back my action there and instead of add an individual we want to add a list of people and my value will be the other multi drop down element here so that we can add multiple people. Okay so I'm going to go through here again and select a couple more people. We'll do Chandler, Jughead, Joey, uh, Moose. Okay so add list all of those people were added to the list and my original list, Phoebe and Ross, they are still in there. We are just adding on to them. Now, set list, our final action here, you can, this kind of confuses some people sometimes, you can think of set as replace, okay? Set list will take uh, my, whatever list I have here and completely replace the existing list. So if there are some items that are currently in the manager's list that are not in my new uh, selection of people here, they will get replaced, they will no longer be in the list. So let me program that button. Paste, and we're going to do set list, and we're going to take the same value, multi drop down A. All right, so again, set list replaces the list with whatever list value you've um, chosen to put in there. So let's say that, let's go back to my company, uh, Backpacks Forever. Let's say I want to set the list with only Veronica and Archie, okay? So by setting the list, it'll replace all of this with just these two people. Click that and you can see how that happened there. All right, and that's pretty much it. Those are all of your list actions. Um, explain and demonstrate it there. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.